this issue of Mountain Bike Chronicles, we are in Leogang, Austria for the UCI Downhill World Championships. Rob Warner is an icon in the sport, and today he's applying his trade as a commentator. We're going to take a closer look at the different pedal systems. All this and much more in this edition of Mountain Bike Chronicles. Rob Warner's love for mountain biking started during his childhood in England. I did motorcycle trials from when I was a little kid. And then actually mountain bikes weren't really invented then, obviously, you know. And then in the early 90s when mountain bikes became more and more popular, or it was really the very beginnings of them, they were still pretty basic things. I started riding them for fitness because I was at a reasonably high level with the motorcycle trials. And then I went and did a few races for fun and I got picked up by a team, but when I say picked up by a team, I mean they gave me a bike, a helmet, and a riding shirt. And I think my second ever race was the 93 World Championships in France. And you know, it was back in the day when you could just turn up, and I just turned up and did a top 20. So that was kind of the beginning of it. The 41 year old celebrated his biggest success in 1996 as an active rider. In Austria, he made history in what was then still such a young sport. In Caprun in 96, I just put together a perfect run. And uh, yeah, and I won my first World Cup, first World Cup for a British rider as well. So that all helped and, you know, that was it really. I had a great year in 97. And then after that, I kind of started to lose interest and went back to partying. Rob Warner's run is really a beautiful thing, and congratulations to you, Rob, your first World Cup victory ever. Yeah, first for sure. What are the thoughts going through your mind right now? I can't take it in, to be honest. I, I guess I know I was lucky with the weather and stuff, but you know, I still won it, and I can't believe it. I'm, I'm lost for words, to be honest. The UCI Downhill World Championship is being held at Leo Gang. In a single run, the world champion will be determined. Michael Hanna of Australia has big plans. His run starts well. Even in the technical sections, he's fast. ahead until the finish and takes the lead. Steve Smith from Canada wants to take his chance. His line is a little better, and he takes the lead over Michael Hen. After his career as a professional rider, the 41-year-old Rob Warner utilized his knowledge of the scene and has been commentating on downhill races for the last six years. I actually think I treat commentary like I did racing. Like, I wake up on the morning of the race, nervous, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, I'm not much fun. I'm, like, skitting out, thinking I've got to do this and that, and I get my notes ready, you know, and I'm starting to go through the things in my head, which probably would have been me in the old days going through the course in my head. Once I've got everything in order, I try to chill out for half hour before I go in the booth. Then I go in the booth, and then I'm excited, and I just can't wait to get going. It's Aaron Gwynn. We're in Gwyndham. Can he be the winner? Pretty bad jokes, but I had to use them somewhere. We know he runs a suspension step, huh? Six seconds up, he needs a checkup from the backup. Aaron Gwynn is clearly insane so fast. It's unbelievable. He goes fastest. Oh, look at that time. Nearly eight seconds ahead. There's not many sports on this planet that are as intense as downhill mountain bike racing. I can't think of any. One run, and you've got to go way beyond your capabilities on certain parts of the course, and that's why I get excited. For, for a commentator, it's just, it's a dream to commentate on because it builds and builds. The fastest qualifier comes down last, so very rarely is it an anticlimax. climax 
after a race, you know, commentating on a race, I can't explain really. It's so intense in there, it's completely like in a vacuum almost. Sometimes you come out and I'm like, that was shit, you know, it was like, it feels like a battle, like it doesn't flow. But uh, when it's good, like we just did here at the World Championships, it's like, I don't know, it's like winning a race, it feels that good. Leo Gang, thousands of fans, along with Rob Warner, await the favorites. Steve Smith is still in the lead. Sam Hill of Australia wants to change that. However, he finally has to give up his plan and does not manage to overtake Steve Smith. G. Atherton of England has the same objective. His run is good, and he takes the lead ahead of Steve Smith. In addition to his voice, Rob Warner also gives the mountain bike world his eccentric character. In his own show, he portrays the sport in a fun way. We try and make the show really fun, you know, because Man Bike Downhill is about having fun. I mean, there's a lot of characters in the sport. It's an action sport, it's an extreme sport, whatever you want to call it. It's dangerous, it's wild, it's loose, you know. And uh, yeah, I try and capture some of that in the show. And it's, you know, I mean, a lot of it's just my own character. And, you know, that's, that, that's what we're trying to get out of it. I don't know what other riders think of me. That would be... That'd be quite interesting to know. I'd be interested to hear their comments. He's a cool guy. He's, a, he's a very colourful and it, it's a great guy to have in the sport. He likes to put a front on for people all the time, but down, down in his heart, he's a genuinely nice guy and family boy um, and a good friend. He's always been a good friend to me. One of the key components on the mountain bike is the pedal. There are two different systems, the flat pedal and the click pedal. The flat pedals have small spikes, called pins, that assist in the adhesion with the specific rubber sole. The flat pedals are used primarily in the freestyle area, where the riders abandon the pedals during jumps. The click pedals create a solid connection between shoe and pedal, which has particular advantages. This whole the shoe sole comes closer towards the pedal axis. That means you have a better power transfer. Furthermore, the pedaling cycle is simply more efficient because you can push 50% and pull 50%. Therefore, you have 100% of power transmission. From a riding technical perspective, there are also advantages. I think clip pedals, you can de-weight the bike easier and rough stuff. You can ride things a little smoother. Well, when you're on flats, if it's really rough, you basically got to sink your feet back and push into the rough stuff to keep your feet on the pedals. Or with clips, they're not going to come off, so you can just stay light and try to stay on top of it. It feels a little smoother that way. And you can just accelerate quicker because you have the pull and push power, so, and you're able to spin it better. So I think there's a lot more benefits to the clips as a racer. Leo Gang, the fans are eagerly awaiting the decision in the UCI Downhill World Championships. Greg Minar of South Africa is the second to last rider who can still influence the decision. In the upper part, he is fast. He 
also holds his lead in the technical sections. Finally, he finishes half a second faster than G. Atherton. Only the favorite is left. Aaron Gwynn is at the top. The U.S. rider starts and is clearly motivated. But after a short time and due to a technical fault, he slams hard. With no chance of victory, Aaron puts on a show for the audience as he crosses the finish line. Thus, Greg Menard celebrates. After nine years, this is his second world title. I couldn't believe I crossed the line in first, and you know, I'm a bit bummed for Gwynny. You know, he um, seems to have a mechanical out there. I'm not quite sure what happened. You know, it's not exactly the best way for me to win or, or the way I'd like to win, but you know, we're all out there trying our best. We all have mechanicals from time to time, and it's been nine years, man. In the UCI Downhill World Championships, Greg Minar wins the gold medal. Silver goes to G. Atherton and bronze to Steve Smith. In the next issue of Mountain Bike Chronicles, we are in Norway for the last stop of the UCI Downhill World Cup in Hafjell. We visit the best Canadian, Steve Smith, at home, where he's enjoying downtime and preparing for a long race season. All this and much more in the next issue of Mountain Bike Chronicles. <laughs>